Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Modded Factions. Today we are here, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. We are in the beautiful world where there have been some changes as you can see. Geki's just chilling down there in a tree. So yeah, as you can see, I have planted some trees. I went mining, I went and got some wood because I needed wood. And then I got a few saplings. And then I planted that tree and mined that tree down and then I got some more saplings. And I thought, to be honest, this place looked a bit dry anyway. So I added it. And then I also added a bit of a stream as well. So if we go over here now, I've got this water that literally just comes out of nowhere and just flows through here. This took me so long, by the way, the buckets. I, I don't know why I didn't just use the same bucket because I had an infinite water source. But then it flows into the beautiful lake. So yeah, that is how that was created. This, this just the, the most recent change. If you guys did not watch the last episode, I made a garage door. Which if I just pull this lever right here, boom, this bad boy will open. Lovely, jubbly, nice and beautiful. Close it up before someone runs in my base. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. If you are, be sure to leave a like on this video. If we could smash 100 likes, that would be amazing. I want to say a massive thank you for all the support on this channel and the series at the moment. Like, it is absolutely killing it. Words cannot comprehend. Like, the last two videos have both broke 2K, view uh, 2K views, yeah, which is crazy. Both over 100 likes. So thank you guys so much. So there's also been some changes with, uh, with this. So, long story short, this... So, long story short, me and Geki were messing around and this whole thing got blew up. And the thing is, with this thing here, every single map is individual. So, all of the maps got thrown into the same stack. They were... It was just... There was no way I was ever going to fix it. It was like a jigsaw. It would have took so long. Which, to be honest, now I think about it, it probably wouldn't have taken as long as it would have been. As it was, sorry, to do all of this... But obviously, with the help of planes and teammates and stuff like that, this was done very fast. So, as you can see there, that is the Bandit Mart. Now, the Bandit Mart has fallen victim to a bomb. I don't know who it was, but someone actually found... Because we found out in the, obviously, the logs and stuff like that. Someone hit it with an exothermic reaction bomb, an endothermic, and then a nuke. So just look at the destruction which is done at the Bandit Mart. It is obliterated. Chax is still chilling down there with his base. He's, is it Chax? I think it's Chazza. Or Chax. Maybe it is Chax. I can't remember. Anyway, they are down there chilling with their base. Nice and lovely dandy. They've got the little tri triangular runway there. And then we've got the spawn over here. Which there is a new addition to the spawn area. So we've got this up here which is a random base. Which I think it was supposed to be a cafe. We've got this here, which is the farm that Ryan we sold to him. Which I also have something on that in a little, in a little, in a little wink. Then down here we've got Mikey's incredibly massive base, which you guys still haven't seen. Maybe we'll check that out for another video. And then here, what is this rectangular monstrosity? So, at the moment, Geki and a few others have been working on a bank. An in-game bank where there's vaults and stuff like that inside of the bank. You do like trades for money. They are creating an economy within the server. Which is great. And that is exactly what we want on here. But thankfully, you know, my teammate. Because obviously at the moment it's just me and Geki in this team. It is just me and Geki in this team. He is the owner. He's the owner of the, the, the bank. So literally I can just get everything for free anyway. But I'm not doing that. I'm going to start paying because we're going to lose profits if none of us pay. Even though I get the profits right back. But I have actually been hired as a member of, sta member of staff at the bank. So at the bank we are actually starting to employ people all from around the map. Like this, even bandit, even part of the bandits have been employed. Which, you know, that may not end well because there may be a little bit of a fight while I'm on duty and stuff like that. Or while I'm on shift. But, you know, we're just going to have to see how it goes. So yes, I was browsing the Discord yesterday while everyone was conversing. I have obviously my second monitor on and Discord was open. And I saw people talking about that it was apparently Ryan that killed me the other day. So obviously, as I said at the end of last ep uh, a few episodes ago, at the end of it, I was stood here, AFK, editing my video and someone killed me right there. They came and sniped me. Which obviously created the, the, the border which I had to get built just so people couldn't just walk in. Uh, I'm probably going to have to make some better gates because these gates aren't just doing the purpose that they need to do anymore. I need something better. Bigger and better. But yes, apparently it was Ryan that did it. Now I'm not going to do anything to Ryan until obviously I find out that it is 100% Ryan. 
But there is a chance it was Ryan. Now, obviously, there is a chance it was the bandits. So I do need to do some investigating, need to do some questioning, stuff like that. But that, at the moment, is not main priority. I want to go and check out this quote-unquote bang. So what I will now do is cut over to me and Geki taking a quick tour. Well, Geki taking me on a tour of the bang. Because, to be honest, I still don't have a clue how it goes. So here we are now at spawn. And this is the bank it is a beefy build like look at the it's symmetrical which is amazing which i love it is built out of solid concrete and reinforced stone and reinforced stone bricks reinforced glass the base looks a bit unsturdy but you know what this thing looks like a beast of a base now geki is already inside he is on shift apparently at the moment mike is in there as well i'm thinking yeah mike is in there as well they're just roaming around but i'm about to undeaf and and you guys are going to say hello to Geki. Hello, Geki. Hello. Hello. Right. Uh, hello. I want to I wanna come to the Bank of Justice. Please. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this it's very protected, not going to lie. There's a j big jail door here. Yeah, only this man can open right here. Oh, I'm, lo I'm now locked in. Hello. Uh, please, please put all your... Uh unauthorized weapons in the chest what's classed as an unauthorized weapon anything that can pew okay okay there's my guns i have been all right <laughs> that, that's Thank it you. yeah okay right. oh yo the, the, the doors sound so dope as well but so my god right head of security investigator gacky founder Mont Motten Mark. Investigator Mikey. Hmm, where's mine? I thought I was hired. Did you say investigator? Investor, sorry, never mind. Right. Well okay, which line do you want me to go in? in? Aisle three. Line. It says line, not aisle. Let's step into my office. Wait, where's your office? Uh, this, so right, one sec. Let me just have a look around. Right. So guys, from the inside, this looks pretty good. Obviously, it's took all my weapons off me. Granted. Not everybody will give all of their weapons in, so this could go wrong at some point. But I'm sure there is something protecting Geki from... I'm sure he's got some sort of gun on him. He looks absolutely dope with that gear on, though. He's, uh, he's got some army gear. He's got a nice gun. Yeah, he definitely has a gun. Okay, right. Anyway, so, where do I go next? Alright. Oh, I'm on... I actually am on a side. Security right here. <laughs> okay. Come on. Oh, okay. So wait, is this a taking me on a tour or opening my account? I'm confused. We're opening your account. Okay. Oh, this is so good. Uh, you can even take a seat here. In where? Um, just in our meeting room. Okay. And I will be back in a minute. Okay. Right, so yeah. This is um different than I thought. Obviously, I thought he was just going to give me like a book. I signed, yeah, I'm part of the, uh, I'm part of this, that, and whatever. But no, apparently I've got to now wait here until he goes and does whatever he does. So, at the moment, this thing does look well secured. Every single door has a passcode. I am I'm digging it up to now. I feel like this is going to be good. It's going to be worth my money. But I don't know if I've got to pay diamonds so I, like every single time and stuff like that. So, I'm going to have to ask about that. Hey. Alright. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, so let me just get everything sorted out for you. Thank you. So click. This is a contract. All I need you to do is sign it. So you agree to all our terms. I right, go ahead and, and wait here. Okay, my apologies. I will, I will not push. Right, so guys, up to now, this has been a very, uh, what was the word I'm looking for? Very secure operation. Oh, I think I have to go back over to the window. I'm not sure. But up to now, this has been a very secure operation. This guy has got this down on lock. Like nothing is getting passed up to this. Up to now, unless you've got like a nuke, which, to be honest, a nuke won't even blow up the concrete. So, I may have to test if the jail doors hold against like explosives. But if, if they do, then you're sorted. If not, then this could be a problem. But the floor is also stone, so they could also go under. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully my stuff is safe in here. Alright. I'll open the door and we can go set up everything. Staff only. Are you giving me permission? You are. Well, thank you. Come on in. 
Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna turn it down real quick, hold up, because that is ridiculously loud. There you go. Right. Okay. So anytime that you wanna make a deposit into your vault or anything, yeah. uh we'll bring you back here and you will be in the tier three vault, so you'll put stuff in here, and then okay. by the time we get down there, it'll all be waiting for you inside the vault. I'm gonna put this one sign in there. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Right. Oh, this door is winding me up. <laughs> oh! Everywhere I go. Right, so what's the passcode to this? Or do I only get in when you guys are here? Uh, you only get access to your own vault password. Okay. This is like... Yo, this not is pretty even dope. our security members know these passwords. Holy crap! Whoa! Rusty ladder? Yo, that's insane. Okay. Vault tech blast door. Damn. There's a lot of you guys have been grinding on those chests. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the smoke? What's the smoke? Oh, that's just to keep everything nice and clean. Oh, okay. Um, action stuck. He also has a vault in here. Which one's he? This is the level three security vault. Okay. Wait, so is this my passcode on here? No. You go in, well, I'll take you into the actual vault. There's your sign. But see, everyone gets their own personal. Oh, okay. Like, I can open his. And it goes into there. Ooh, okay. That's pretty dope. Right, so where's mine? So I'm going to set yours up right now. Okay. Right, up to now, I don't, whoa, what's he broke through into? I don't even know what he's broken through into there. So for thousand? I think you just broke into the staff. Did you just break into the staff room? Uh, this is our premium vault. And I have a chest? Um, it's... Don't worry about it. You don't <laughs> okay, it. I'll get out, I'll get out. Right, anyway, yeah, up to now, this is really secure. Like, even he's locked the doors behind as well. But, right, so the item retrieval is here. I'm getting my own little chest right here. I've got my own custom door, which is going to be, uh, I'm guessing, sort of a thousand personal vault. I don't know what my order number will be. Maybe it's going to be 4,000. If it's 4,000, I'm going to be very stoked. So, that, right, it's done. Hello? Hello? Yep. Right, is my passcode 175, what, 535? Five, 1735. Five. 1735. Five. What is it, C? Uh, V. V. Ooh. Okay. Wait, this one's different to that one. This one slides down. That one came open a different way. Okay. <sighs> I clicked and, the wrong button. Anyway, right. <laughs> My sign is in there. That is all literally right. all I needed. So anytime you come down here, you can go into your own personal vault. Right, so nobody knows my password, I'm hoping. Nobody well, knows it except for you and me. Well, you're on the same team as me, so I trust you with that. Right, I'm guessing I get out this way. Yep. Right, anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's sliding. And it's rolling. That is so cool. I love that feature. We probably should have closed all this off behind us, like the hatch door and stuff. Get wrecked. Oh, so close. I don't know the passcode. You're going to have to let me out. Anyway, right. We are now out. Uh, I don't know. Oh, no. Leave me alone. Stop opening. Right. We are out. So, anyway. This is the bank. Obviously, as I said, it was just a quick recap of the bank. This is what it's looking like. Now, obviously, this is going to be good because this is much more protected than my base at the moment. We can actually buy food here as well, which is pretty cool. So, if we do need the food... Then I will have to, obviously, I just like Gek, you know. Yo, he looks so official just stood in that spot. <laughs> he doesn't even look real. What the hell? That is weird. Bro, you don't look real. I am security. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to shop here anymore. I d <laughs> Let me out. My finger slipped. I request, I request to be left, let out of the bank, please. Thank you. And my goods, good sir. One, 
two, three. Thank you. Thanks for doing business. Yep. I, I will see you again at our base. Oh. Right, anyway, so, now we are out, obviously, we've got our bank little, uh, whatever it's called, open, our account, is it, as he called it, our account. But we are in the spawn area currently, and it's not very often that I come to the spawn area, because it's so far away from my base. But this is, obviously, Ryan's base, this is the base over there, which is the farm base that we stole, and then some, Ryan's pretty much stole off us. Because we got absolutely nothing for it. How's the farm base coming along? It is all grown. Well, under our agreement, I am allowed to come and farm here. So I'm going to come and grab some food. Oh my god, there's so much. I'm going to focus potatoes because I, potatoes are the best. They give you the most food after you've been cooked. Although that is a downside, you have to cook them. But yeah, I've been going through food like mad with the whole like maps and stuff like that recently. Having to travel everywhere. Maps have been draining my food. So, yeah, using this now, coming here every so often, probably isn't going to be the worst thing. So anyway, now I am going to leave. I'm going to head back to the base because I have an idea I want to share with you guys. So what is my idea, you may ask? So if we go on a little trip down to Chinatown, over here you can see a huge forest area. And with forest comes, you know, there's a lot of room. And nobody has set up a base even remotely close to this. The closest base to it is me. I'm there. Everybody else is like this side of the map. But there's also like a forest over there. But there's not really anybody there. So my plan is to set out like a squared, a complete like even square area. I'm going to like just chop the trees down. Make it look perfect. A good old square. And I'm going to set up a military campsite inside of that. So I'm not quite sure when that will be taking place. I'll try and get it done for next episode. But TG, I think, wants to record with me. So I don't know what he wants to record with me about. But he wants to record with me. So yeah, we will have to see what he wants to record with me about. He's actually just logged off. So I don't know what it's going to be. But yeah, that is one of my plans. I do want to get a military base. Because this, at the moment, is my only base. And it is, it's secure in a way. But it is not fully secure. Like, there's obviously the big mountain here. Anybody can get over it. Look, someone's even built over it there. Which they weren't actually supposed to do. But yeah, I don't know what the dealio is with that. But yeah, I'm going to have to get that military base set up sooner rather than later. So I am actually going to make a... Uh, a diamond axe. Just so that chopping the trees down is going to be much, much faster. And I'm also going to get some shears. So then uh, using the leaves as well. That's going to be much faster as well. So we only need two iron for that. Boom. 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 And there we go. So yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to go down there and smack that like button. It was. I don't know how long it was. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm trying to get these videos out daily. I can't make them half an hour because... I only have four hours a day to record, if that really even. What the hell is going on out here? Geki, what the hell are you doing? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to go down there and smell the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see all of you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow at 7pm UK time. Peace.